Is it alive? It is. Okay, eat quick. What do you, what do you need, Rummy? No? What do you need? What does a baby otter need to eat? Hey guys, Gunshy here with another video. So today, I spotted a 180 tech quetzal out over here by this mountain earlier when I was trying to get some metal. And I think we should tame it up. So that's what I'm doing. Somewhere out here. I also removed, uh, was it Dino Tracker? Oh, there he is. Here, I'll show you guys what he got. It's so a 180, 42 in health, 28 in weight, 31 in stamina. Really what you want on a Quetzal, I'm pretty sure it's stamina and weight. Because you're mostly going to use it to, uh, like, as a mobile, you know, refining, refinery, kind of. That's my plan. Yeah. I'm going to start pelting this dude with this. Got him. Woo! Dodge that one. I don't know how I'm going to do this. He just keeps dodging. There we go. Come on. No! Quit it. Nope. I missed. What is your torpor are you not? Oh my god. Come on, reload. Let's get another round in here. It's gonna take a bit here to knock out. Where the fuck did that one go? There we go, that's another one. Let's see what this guy's at. Okay. Could go definitely hit some more. I just don't want him to fall in the river here and like get swarmed by Rexes and shit. I'd rather have him collapse up in the forest. No! <laughs> I keep on wasting darts and they're expensive. Oh, there he goes. That worked, I guess. Uh, I think you should be good. I'll get back to you guys here once I'm ready to put food in him. Alright, so I've decided I got enough to craft up a sanguine elixir, so I'm going to pop that as soon as I put the food in him. And we'll start uh, getting him leveled up once we do. He's still starving. I'm going to let him go a bit longer. I was just letting you guys know I was crafting that up. Also, these do last longer in the Desdemona, so I recommend storing them in there. Alrighty, I'm going to give him the raw mutton. Let's see what happens. That was one piece. Two. Three. I'm going to be here a while. God dang it. Okay, I'll get back to you guys once I have him tamed up. Alrighty, and we got him tamed. That is awesome. All right. 
the elixir helped out a lot. We had quite a bit of that meat. I had probably about was it 60 meat on there, and I, when I gave it to him, he ate a lot. Alright, let's just fly back. We're pretty close. Oh my god, he is slow. He's got to be sprinting right now to keep up. Yep. Yep, he's slow. It's alright. We're really close to base. He was legit just flying around that mountain. We were able to knock him out over there. You are going to be... Basically, I'm going to level you, but I'm going to also use you to breed, kind of like I did with Andy. If I ever, ever find... What are you? If I ever find a female, 180, that Quetzal, I promise you, you will probably get some. Yeah. Oh. Alright, we're home. I'm gonna get this dude a platform saddle. Ooh, yeah, wait. Do, 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 do. Come here. There you go. I like his colors as well. The blue and all that. But yeah, I'm gonna go get him a saddle. Okay, I can't craft a saddle for him until level 97. But I am glad I grabbed him, at least. Here, I'll cryo you up. I guess, yeah, you're gonna get cryoed up in here. I'm just a little disappointed I didn't get a you. Wasn't able to, like, saddle him up with, uh... Oh my god. I just realized something. Um, I, oh, I've been doing this over and over again. This is like the third time I've done it. Is it alive? It is. Okay, eat quick. What do you, what do you need, rummy? No? What do you need? What does a baby otter need to eat? Do you need fish? Do you need fish? Yeah, it's gonna die. This is like the third time I've done it. The other two times I've forgotten the otter. I'm sorry, I, I could have saved you. I could have saved you. Now I'm gonna feed you to the other dinos. Yeah, I think they need fish. So, let's hop in the water. You know what would probably be really helpful to do this? Andy. Alrighty, I got some fish with Andy. Didn't get much. Not gonna lie. Was not much. Okay. Uh, there you are. We'll try this. I think they'll eat raw fish. Oh my god, what is he eating so much raw fish? Is that you guys? What what do otters eat? Like something's eating this fish. Okay, I'm legit looking it up right now. Okay, um, I give up. I give up. Let's hope you eat fish, because you are pregnant. 
so yeah. But anyways, um, I think we're gonna work on the kitchen now. I think I need to go get oil, so... We got time, we got time. Oh my god, there's so much stuff just swarming me. Come on, let me just get oil. Okay. I miss the oil pumps. I do. I really do. But yeah. Alrighty, now that I have the oil, I should be able to just throw it in here. Search up grill. I forgot to turn Andy off follow, didn't I? I need crystal and cementing paste. I'm gonna have to go mine crystal. I gotta wait for her first. I gotta wait for the otter baby. I'm getting an otter baby so that way I can go take it out and uh, use it in caves tomorrow when we go caving. I'm gonna go and try and take up a baby dinosuchus in as well. I'm gonna get one of those tamed up here, hopefully. But yeah, once once I have all that, we'll go caving. But today, I think I'm gonna work on the kitchen and get actually all that stuff grown up. So, bah, 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 bah. let's actually do this real quick. T and if I can just pull you guys close to each other real quick, get you a little further. Oh, there you go. Okay. I'm, I'm hitting the wrong button, I think. No. Nope. I wasn't close enough, apparently. What? I mean, look, look, watch. I can do it from back here. I just want to make sure I get the female. Here? Yep. Yeah. Alright, we'll get the egg here from that. I don't know how long that's actually going to take. I also learned something. I don't know if these guys will drop eggs. I don't see them dropping eggs. Trophy of Gods do. I've been able to collect a couple eggs from them. Um, let's actually go see if there's any out here so I can brew it. No, you guys didn't want to drop me a surprise one? Alright, there were a raptor. There was a raptor one here earlier. I didn't pick up, damn it. I haven't seen one of these guys drop an egg in a long time. Not since we were breeding them. Like, I mean, while we were breeding them, they were dropping them constantly. Like, look. We got, oh, we got two of them. We got two normal eggs in the time it took us to get that. And then we got one from the raptors. Yet, we get a shower of eggs from you guys. Okay, how much time is left? 47 seconds. How much on you? Okay. I'll get back when something climactic happens. Alrighty. Let's see it. Legit just picks up the mom, throws it away, like, come here. Alright, what do you got for me? 47 and a half of that. What's your weight? 30. Isn't one of your guys' weight, like, better than that? No. 30 was the best weight on our otters. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I legit just decided to throw that out the window. Yeah. 30's good. Uh, uh Yay. Okay, but anyways, um, let's see if this guy will live. Come on. I don't, I don't know how to, oh, also the egg's out. Alrighty, we got him, we got the egg, I don't know what I'm doing. I legit just took like a half hour break, came back, and hit the start button, so I'll figure this out again. Alrighty, so I just gave the otter its first imprint, and it's an instant 100%, so... That's awesome, so that's probably all shoulder pets are an insta-100, so I could definitely use this guy. Probably going to use him tomorrow when we're grabbing uh, artifacts. So, yeah. But for now, I'm going to go hop on our pterodon, where is he? He's actually out this side. And I'm going to go get some crystal, because I need that to make a grow. Now, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't think this mountain has crystal on it at all. Got obsidian. I already got that note too, so I've been here before, so I think I've looked for crystal here already. I mean, what notes do I actually have? That's a question. I got one of Nerva, none of uh, May. I think that's hers. I only got one of Rockwells, but I got one on somewhere else. How many Helena's do I got? Yeah. I got the Castro, I know that. I eat it on. 
got nothing in the down somewhere else, so that's where we bothered. Also, if you're wondering what the check marks for next to these are, that means you have tamed that creature. So, getting the dossier notes is actually a good way to let you know if you've tamed all the tameable creatures in the game. Although it is a bit of a tedious task. Alrighty, so I've just gone to the volcano for crystal. I can get a lot of it here real quick. So, yeah. I'm just going to harvest up as much as I can. Um, I'm pretty sure he has a pretty decent weight, so it shouldn't be too much to carry it all back. Or any too difficult. So, let's see how this goes. Speaking about exploring, though, it's like I think I got my another Minerva? Right? Yep. Yeah. Another Nerva. Nerva 30. I think that's his second to last one on the island. But yeah. We'll, we'll do a couple videos here where we're just going around gathering those and actually looking at all the locations. So we'll even go back to the ones we've already gotten. But until then. Alrighty, so I've thrown off all my excess stone and I'm just going to hop on the bird. Ooh, he's very... <laughs> he's close. He is close. Also, I need water, so I need to get home. Alrighty, I'm back now. I'm getting water. Oh, that hurt. I mean, that was... It was okay. We got back with all the crystal, though. Look at how much we got. We got 1,500. Ooh. Add it right on to a stack. Now, she needs... Now, I need to go get the oil. Alright. This shouldn't take too long. Alrighty, we got the oil. I'm heading up. Let's do this. It was scary down there. It's dark. It's really dark. Especially at night when you go down. I have turned my gamma up a bit. Ooh, I don't want to head for that island. Yeah, it might be faster if we run along the island. You know what? We might actually... I don't know. Let's actually see what's on Carno Island here. I've not been on it yet. We live up here. Make sure we're at top speed at all times, just in case we actually get hit by something. Alright, yeah, we'll just swim back across. It's actually pretty decent here, like... Not too deep, I mean... I would actually probably come and build an underwater base around here. It's actually pretty flat, it's not too deep. I actually, you know what, I might do that later on in the game when we, I don't know, we actually might be off this island by the time I decide to start working with tech. So, yeah. I'm gonna get home here real quick. Alrighty, now that we got all that figured out, we're back. I got Andy to quit following me around. I also keep on recording, forgetting to record stuff, but yeah. Let's get into the cooking, let's get the grill going. And we'll get the ladder, and we'll, so that way we can place it in here straight. Okay, let's go place down the grill. It shouldn't be too bad. I'm already wired up the, what is it called? Already wired up the, yeah, power to the room. So if I do this. <laughs> Sorry. I had a sneeze. There we go. Now let's get you. Uh, let's... Damn it! My hands are shaky. And there we are. Yeah. 
So we'll put probably the cooking pot here, try and get it at a diagonal angle. Then we'll throw down some other stuff here. Maybe some storage bins along this side, and maybe a couple of that side. Just so that way we can store ingredients and all that in the kitchen. But unfortunately we're going to have to demolish our ladder. Instead of picking it up like last time we used it for the fabricator. Yay! But, you know what this means? We now can mass produce meat. So, if I quickly just... Let's go with this one. Let's cook up some prime meat. Oh, and I'll start working on some prime meat jerky. Um... I don't know. I think we should uh, be good for now. I'm going to have to set up some more forgers and get more metal now. Why did all my lights go out? Oh, am I out of electricity? Am I out of gas? No? We're still good. Why did... Oh, it's just... Oh, okay, okay. Um, it's foggy out right now. Oh, it's raining and foggy, so it's just dark out right now. And it looks like it's nighttime. But, yeah, I'm just glad we got the kitchen going. It looks nice. I'm glad we got the... We just had to get the industrial grow first, but... Now, what we are going to be needing for the damn... Uh, what are you... Where are you at? There you go. Dang cooking pot. We're going to need more oil, more metal, more cementing paste, and polymer. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Um... You know what? I think I'm going to start with getting two forges. I don't know if I have enough stuff to do that, though. Uh, crafting. Forge. Forge. I need hide. Uh, Andy, you definitely always have hide on you, right? Nope. Ah, why? Every time. You got hide. I don't think you actually collect hide. I think you, like, get raw meat instead of hide. Now. Do you seriously not have hide? Ah, does nobody have hide? You got hide. Oh well, our cementing paste problem fixed itself. I'm guessing there's a caster somewhere in the the pond. Also, that's a thing that I'm gonna try and do now. You see these gates I have up? That is going to block off wild creatures that spawn out in this side to, from getting in. Because coroners and all that still spawn out on this side. But I'm going to just block off this side. Get this big old area over here for storing dinos. And then over here as you know, this is going to become our uh, egg farm area. We're just going to set up all the egg farms over here. Might even move up the cliff a bit here. Because we do got some spots to build. Like a flat spot up here that we could build. You know. But, I guess that's further down the line still, again. Um, but yeah. There's the Castro. I'm not gonna kill you. Because I need leather. Leather, 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 leather. Is there nothing in this damn canyon that gives leather? Ooh, how about this? Let's go check the other, uh, smithy. Because I've been wanting to do this for a hot second. I need to actually tear this place down, so... Let's grab all our good saddles, our extra gear, our weapons, and what do you, no, nothing, 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 what do you got, uh, good stuff, I'll take it, and here we go, I'm going to, I'm going to get more hide for beds, don't worry. But I'm just going to start tearing this down by demolishing the foundations. So, it shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully it just all starts to collapse here. I really do need to get hide. I am trying to get the kitchen done. I also just remembered this. This is all S plus stuff, so if I'm correct. Which I'm pretty sure I am. None of that stuff's going to collapse. Alright, sorry about that. I had a phone call. Let's keep on destroying stuff. I don't know. 
Let's do. We got the Quetzal. What we need to do is get more levels. I know, you know. We already got how many levels do we got? So our technical highest level that we can reach is 105. That's the default arc level, all right? But with the chibi, we already got plus one on it, okay? We can get another plus five, I believe. So we can get that up to 10. Then we can get 10 from the explorer notes. So we should be able to hit 120 before we do the ascension, hopefully. Unless all explorer notes means all of them across all maps. And but then we should be able to hit 110. Uh, so yeah, we actually might go work on the chibi later here. We do got Andy. He should be able to tank out a lot of them. So that all collapsed. Let's destroy all these. Um, wondering why the bins didn't break. Uh, yeah. Let's just quickly clean this up. Um, I'm still kind of wondering on what we should be doing uh, with the base after this. Because we have the kitchen, we don't have the breeding area, but I don't know what we need to set that up yet. I think what I need to do is try and focus on getting all my uh, stuff done. Like, you know, getting all the metal produced, all that. Getting production all set up. So I think that's what we're going to work towards as well. But tomorrow we are going caving. That is the plan. I'm going to do a Dinosuchus. Or Dinoticus. I don't know what the fuck they're called. Alright. Dinotherium. I don't know. I don't even think that was the right name. What? What is so overweight in here? It is probably the saddles. Let's ditch the pike. We should be able to get there in less than half an hour. And we're back. That took a little long. But yeah. um, let's just throw this stuff in here. I think I'm actually going to use that hide there to craft up a, another uh, you know, forge. So I'm just going to do with one. And I think... We should go tame an Anki, you know? Um, no, because then... Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking here. If I get an Anklo, we could use them to get metal a lot faster here. That would actually help our production a big time. So I just need to figure out what that is. Let's... Yeah, I'm going to go get some more metal. Hey, look, there's another Quetzal. Yeah, level 35 male. Okay. Just thought it'd be interesting to see. Maybe, you never know, might have got another good one near the base. Especially now that we're actually going to have to hunt for them, seeing how I removed the creature finders. We'll just use the S plus one here once we're able to unlock it through tech. So, until then. Um, yeah, this is the mountain that had all that metal on it, if I'm correct. Also had a bunch of stone and stuff. Yeah, this would be a good place to come if you're looking for obsidian and all that metal. Or a good base. I would definitely build my base near this mountain. Glad I kind of did. If my base is over there. I usually go to that one, because it has crystal. This one works. That's a big old scorpion. Um, I, I yeah, I do remember dropping here because I came here for metal at the beginning. So yeah, I'm gonna just get some metal here. I don't know how much I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna get enough to make it so that way I might get a thousand, maybe two thousand. Got a scorpion on me. Got a scorpion on me. Alright, he's dead. And there we are. We are now heading home. We got 2,000 metal exact. I had to drop some because we were overweight. And several other things. But I figured that we probably wouldn't need. 
But yeah, I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna start refining this stuff. Hopefully, we can get us the industrial was industrial cooker before the end of the day. Uh, I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Alrighty, we're back. We're gonna load up the uh, metal here into the forges with some wood. That one's nearly got 2,000 metal in it, so. Hopefully here we do get some more metal. Going to have to go get some polymer. I mean, I could make it, but that would mean even more cementing paste I have to make. So, if I say am able to steal that without killing any of the casters, it should make another one, right? And I can just farm them. If I can get a cementing paste farm going just by having Castro's near me, that'd be awesome. So, where... Where'd I park? There's Pterodon. Okay. Let's check for Castro's in the water. Don't see any... I mean, he's still out here in the field somewhere. Right? There's the caster. He's on the far right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly away as fast as I can after I do all that. The caster's going to come run at me. and But I'm going to fly this way so I don't lead him towards the base. So there. We'll just get out of render range here, so that way we immediately lose his aggro as soon as we can. Um, yeah. That should be good enough. He should have lost his aggro on us. Now I can head back. There we go. And we're good. Hopefully he will put down another one. But... We now got a lot of CP. So let's just do two components. All right, that's 59. <laughs> It'd be probably... You know what? I've always wanted to do this as, a, as an experiment. I never... I don't know if it would work. Ever. So... I'm wondering... Yeah. What are they? The little penguins, the caracos. I wonder if I can tame some of those up. Start breeding them. Like a farm. You know? Like an Ovis farm. Like how you'd breed up Ovis to uh, then slaughter and then proceed to uh, harvest to get mutton, you know? Because I do plan on doing one of those here as, as well. Because we might need that. But... Yeah, I might try it. I might, but I might. I'm gonna try and finish the egg farm first, so. Let's actually put all that stuff on hold. So, I need air conditioner. What do you need? Electronics and polymer. So now what we're going to do, instead of using the... What is it? Instead of using the polymer for... You know, making the cooking pot, we're going to use it to make air conditioners here. So let's get all this stuff in here. Just have two more more components. I need all those. Air. We might not. We do not have enough electrical components. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I want to do something. I'm gonna do something about this. We. I want to do caves tomorrow, but we really, really need to go work on some water stuff so I can get pearls and all that.
You know what? We could probably start with the cave. We'll go do a short one, probably like the lava cave. And, uh, yeah, then we'll just go hop in the water afterwards, hang up some McPhees and work from there. But, yeah, I think that's what we'll do tomorrow. Okay, there's the Castro. I really do hope he places another one. It was really helpful. So, okay. Now, I... Is that a Fionia? Another... That's another Castrotus! So there's two of them. What's your level? Four, five. Oh, okay. And you're not mate boosted, I don't think. You're bold male. What are you? You're colors. I already have you. All right. Huh? We do got our otter, so let's pick her up. Let's go and stand somewhere where it is pretty, such as right here next to the railing. Hit the whoa, crotch mode. Okay, let's go with this. Oh, that should that should do. That should do. So, um, thanks guys for tuning in. I know this was kind of an, a weird episode. This has been recorded over like the last four days. Because I've been working on a, a video for the Sunken World. Seems how it got the mod sponsorship here. I'm also going to be working on Paleo Arc. I'm not too sure though. About that one. Because it requires like carrots. Better dinos and all that. Um, The Sunken World though is very interesting. And I am hoping it gets a lot of updates here. Especially now that it's been. Uh, you know, now that Wildcard's paying them to work on it here for the next couple months. So we, I'm expecting a lot of progress that they're going to be able to make. So I might add that in at the end of the series. Like another map to do after we get Yomi or something. That's a ways down the line. And we're still on the island. But yeah. So that's why that's why this video is late. Um, originally, when I tamed up a... Where is he? Do I... Did I put you in here? Yeah, the tech Quetzal. When I originally tamed him up, I was originally going to go tame up two other uh, Quetzals that were on the map. Uh, but I couldn't find them after losing the Dino Finder mod. But I did remember where he was, so I was able to tame him. Which I'm very happy I uh, was. Because he was a 180. That was a max level tech Dino. Also, if you didn't know, tech Dinos on all maps can, can spawn at 180 they spawn 30 over so it was perfect it's very helpful but, oh, till then yeah. but for now it's been gun shamoy if you like the video please do leave a like and subscribe for more we do have a video every day um, unless I get distracted by trying to do another mod video like that. Um, yeah. But yeah, we upload every day. We have a video. Um, so yeah. And if you want to see more art, just come back by subscribing. But anyways, this has been Gunshot Mori, signing off. Andy, your fat ass is blocking the door. Mm -hmm.